Okay, uh, my wiring is done, it's finished, for the most part, I have an exacto knife, or a, yeah, exacto knife, to trim up these intersecting parts where they intersect, where they're supposed to intersect, and, uh, um, the only thing this fan is really good use for, I made a mistake on this setup, is to rotate by hand. Rotate by hand. Um, it's not going to do anything with you have a if you have one laser going like this. It it won't do anything. So I went through Amazon and I bought seven more for each of these. Um, each of these exaggerated cross-section 3D picture elements, picture units, pic, 3D pic, pixel units, and um, they'll be set up. They'll have some sort of, I was thinking of using something like this um, or some other thing to set these lasers up a certain distance around here, all the way around. <clears throat> And uh, at most, it would fire up one part of the web at a time, but it'd be a symmetrical part of the web. Um, as they rotate through here, it would fire up different parts of the web. And uh, but I'd still need some sort of smoke machine to uh, to light up the web inside because. You won't be seeing the laser directly unless there were particles in the air to uh, reflect it back to your eyes. So I need to find a smoke machine. <clears throat> but the lasers cost around $51.78, I believe. So I'm putting a lot into this experiment. But again, it's a crude experiment for low tech invisibility or high tech invisibility on the outside and a high-tech holodeck on the inside a byproduct of the invisible aspect of this light interface model well thanks a lot